to Out and About with Martin and it's day six, I think, of my Scottish tour. Today I'm leaving the Isle of Skye and heading inland to Glencoe. I'll be making a few stops on the way. The first will be at one of the most photographed castles in the UK, the Eileen Dunham Castle. So sit back and enjoy the ride. A heart speed to the city streets. We begin to feel the fire. We rise like tall buildings as the chemicals they take us higher. The night's young and it's just begun. As she puts her hand in mine We wanna chase the night Wanna dance to the light Pull the stars from the sky Just two hearts running wild Never sleep, never stop As we shout from the top We're gonna, we're gonna be Two hearts running wild The original Aileen Donnan Castle was destroyed following the Jacobite Rebellion in 1719. The castle we see today was reconstructed by Lieutenant Colonel John McRae Gilstrap between 1919 and 1913. It is a restoration of the original castle, said to be the most photographed castle in Scotland. If you have bought Scottish shortbread, whisky or other Scottish products, it is more than likely that this castle featured on the label. It's also featured in many films including Bonnie Prince Charles, The Masters of Ballantry, Highlander and The World Is Not Enough. It's also used in the opening sequence of the series The New Avengers. This looks like a great place for me to take a break.
Park Rec, real name Multivessel Spring, built in 1975, is an old fishing vessel that was moored at Kinlochaven Pier. Unfortunately, in 2011, a heavy storm caused a chain to fail. She was blown across the lock and ran aground and has been there ever since. Unfortunately, as I drove the short distance from the Corpass shipwreck to Glenfinnan Viaduct, the heavens opened. The torrential rain was forecast to last for the next few days in this area. With visibility also getting bad, I took the decision not to visit the Glenfinnan Viaduct. I took the decision to continue south towards the Trossachs, where the weather forecast was much drier. I'm now driving down the side of Loch Lomond. The loch is 36 kilometres or 22 miles long and between 1 and 8 kilometres that's 0.6 and 5 miles wide. It is the largest lake in Great Britain by surface area. This brings me to the end of my Scottish tour. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. As I head home, please click on the like button and if you haven't already done so, subscribe to my channel. It helps my channel grow and it doesn't cost you a penny. You can also support my channel by buying me a coffee. The link is in the description below. So until next time, bye.